Hello, my name is Anthony. Welcome to the session that discusses the new enhancements which are available in 22B in the Oracle Utilities Cloud Services. In this session, we'll talk about these new features and how they can impact your business. I'll give you an overview of the improvements implemented for the due processing, followed by more detail to explain how you use the features and the benefits they provide to your business. Then we'll walk through a demonstration of each of the improvements. And then finally, we'll explain what you need to consider when implementing some of these features in your business. Improvements in the 22B release to the to-do processing include a new improved dashboard to-do summary zone that links to new functionality available in this and past releases for improved to-do management. The addition of the assigned user as a filter in to-do searches to help improve work allocation and identify over assignment of work to key resources. And finally, the to-do analysis dashboard has been enhanced to provide details of the two entries that are a result of the advanced filtering available to improve management of to-dos. The first enhancement is to do with the to-do summary dashboard zone. The originally summary dashboard zone has replaced with a new improved zone that links to the improved capabilities provided to summarize your to-do workload. The new dashboard links to the improved to-do search, to-do maintenance, and to the to-do analysis dashboard to allow you to manage your to-do workloads more efficiently with these new and improved capabilities. The next enhancement is to the improved to-do management portal. The enhancement now allows the assigned user as one of the many filters that can be used to search for relevant to-do entries. The inclusion of this additional filter allows workloads to be better identified, assessed, and managed appropriately from the management portal. The next enhancement is designed to improve the interaction and usefulness of the to-do analysis dashboard. This dashboard allows users to interactively filter and segment to-do entries using a more visual representation for analysis. The enhancement allows the details of individual to-do entries to be displayed based upon the advanced filtering in the dashboard to allow greater focus on relevant subsets of to-do entries. Now let's take a look at the improvements in to-do processing in this release. Welcome to the to-do summary dashboard zone enhancements demonstration. For this demonstration, I'm just focusing on the to-do summary dashboard zone, which is sitting in the dashboard. Now for this demonstration, I have the old dashboard showing, the old dashboard zone and the new one showing to show you the differences, to highlight why you would want to migrate to these two. Now functionality wise, they are very similar, but the old dashboard navigates to the old style transactions and the new dashboard zone navigates to the newer, more optimal transactions. Um, a few things that are different. Obviously, there are some visualization differences. This is more Redwood. This is not Redwood. A couple of things to point out. So the bar here is clickable on the old zone. It's not clickable here, mainly because the, the link that clicked here is more efficient and has more functionality to isolate the, the to-do entries for you. So it's not needed. Same with the refresh button. It's not needed for the same reason. This zone has been optimized for processing as opposed to these, this, opt this zone. So ideally, you would be turning this zone on and this zone off. But I wanted to show you the differences so you can highlight the difference, so you can understand the differences. So they do have similar functionality, just as this points to newer, more optimal transactions to manage your to-dos. This is the old style of managing. So in an implementation, this zone will be turned off in preferences and this zone will be turned on. Welcome to the demonstration of the assigned user enhancement for to-do management. On the to-do management portal, which you can access via the menu or via unified search, you will see additional criteria has been added or filters have been added to allow you to focus on assigned users. This allows you to find to-dos using various criteria and filter them out to a signed user so that one, that either you can use those, those work and allocate to someone else if you're a supervisor, or you can assign it to yourself if someone is away, for example, and you want to find out what work is outstanding for a user and reassign it. This allows more focused optimization of finding to-dos that need to be worked on. Welcome to the to-do dashboard enhancements demonstration. You can navigate to the to-do dashboard from the menu or from unified search. Once you're in the dashboard, the product will load a set of zones and graphs 
manly graphs that basically list the non-complete to-dos by different dimensions, including role, status, priority, age, and type. You can interact with the zones by clicking the graph elements that you're interested in. So for example, I'm interested in the priority 20 to-do entries. I can click on the entry here and it will refresh all the zones with that as a filter. And I can continue to find my zones by clicking on more and more criteria, including to-dos. So I want to see here high bill complaints. I can click on high bill complaints. And that will again refresh. So I am slicing and dicing the data to suit my need. Once I'm finished slicing and dicing, I can now see what to-do entries. The enhancement is to see what to-do entries. You need to click on the details tab. This will now list the individual to-do entries that make up that list. I can then work, I can actually assign them completely to people. I can work on them individually. I can look at more information about them across the, the zones. I can even refine the search and criterion additionally using filters. One thing I should point out, if you want to click on the details tab, you must filter by to do type as one of the filters. This is for efficiency. If you don't, you will get an error message asking you to at least click on one type to focus upon. In this implementation device section, we'll go through what you need to consider before enabling these features in your business and what you need to know to set them up. Most of the enhancements are automatically enabled for you as part of the upgrade. The only exception is the new to-do dashboard zone, which needs to be enabled to replace the legacy dashboard zone. To do this, you must add the F1 TD sum service to an appropriate user group so the users of that group can now access the new zone. Additionally, the user preferences of the individual users or template users, if template users are used, needs to be dis to disable the legacy dashboard zone to avoid confusion between the two dashboard zones. Details of this process are included in the release notes of your, for your administrators to follow. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.